What's up guys, this is Sliver Overlord from the Clan Based Filers reporting in on the most recent war victory. So, let's take a look at this war. We were against the Pinas Warrior. Warrior, yep. And as you can see, we won 30 to 27. Um, we got pretty lucky with Evman and Wes's defenses. I guess, uh, their number one and their number three weren't too good. I guess somehow he, he was able to one-star TM and not get anything on Ev, which is not usual for clans. But, you know what, I'll take it. So, as you can see, our 10 all 10s did pretty well this war. Got a, got a whole two-star attack from Evman right there. And as we continue down, um, I just want to show you this, this raid by Wes Snyder. It's the overkill raid of the day. So, let's take a look at this thing. So, three golems, 17 wizards. This, this is going to be pretty funny to watch. Oh, there they go, and those golems just tanking their way through and the, the line of wizards behind them. Clan castle troops go down. Uh, looks like they're going to go down pretty quickly. Oh, there come the Pekkas. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Pekkas in. And a rage. And suddenly there is so much attack power in that little bubble. It's incredible what a rage spell does. And here comes a queen. Oh, wait, wait. How long is she going to last for? Boom. One hit. Jeez. Cannot take the Pekkas. Girls on girls. Does not work out well for the Archer Queen. Oh, yep. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, this, this base is going to get three-star pretty easily. Overkill raid of the day, of course, and, uh, yeah, looks like this is gonna go by pretty, pretty quickly from here on out, just P.E.K.K.A., Golem, another P.E.K.K.A., Golemites, a couple wizards just taking down whatever's left, I mean, there's not like that, not like the last couple defenses are gonna be able to stop it, and of course that level 25 queen, or king, not bad, yep, and nice and clean. Uh, here come the here come the barbs and the barb king and everything else. It's all locked down to that golem over there, but too bad. Too bad for him, of course. Nice job to Wes. Yep. So so that was uh that was our awesome raid of the day. Um, actually found out we go Rudy right there. He's got a hundred percent. Let's give us a quick watch. I believe Rudy is a Town Hall. Looks like he's a Town Hall 8 by his troops. Might be a Town Hall 9. But still pretty pleased with this attack. I guess the entire clan should be pleased with this one. Um, looks like a very recently developed Town Hall 8 getting pounded by a Go Wipe. I never understand why the Pekkas, they like to go backwards and then forwards and then backwards and then forwards. I mean, it was pretty fun seeing Evman's raid last time, but... So, yeah, good job to Rudy. Um, is he even gonna need that last spell? I guess not. Yeah, so, awesome job to Rudy. Really taking down their boy Ethan. Yeah, so, those are the two raids I wanted to show you from this last war. We... Ended up taking him down. Yeah, good job to Moogie and to Coffee on their three stars on 12 and 13. And, of course, good job to Evman on his two star of number three. And also to Evman and Wes on their incredible defenses. Um, let's actually take a look at, take a look at Wes's defense real quick. Never been the biggest fan of Wes's base, but, um, I have to say that, that uh, that barrier... I guess it, it works out well sometimes. So, the Hound, probably donated by TM, of course. Damn, that, that poison spell just does so much damage. Of course, not to the Hound, because the Hound is just incredibly large. And yep, and down goes the Hound, down goes the Pups, and here we go. Oh, look, oh, jeez. The wizards go one way, the golems go the other way. Too bad. And of course, that um, that space, one space barrier between there really did help out. 
I mean, I personally would not do that, but awesome job. Good, good defense to Wes. So, yeah, and uh, I mean, there wasn't too much to show from that war. I mean, we had some great attacks. Everything was solid, but nothing spectacular in that war. I'm very glad we won it, though. I'm still on in the wars, but that should be changing soon. I guess I got three days, 19 hours left until my king's at 19, and hopefully by that time I am able to send him up to level 20. And then it'll take me a couple months to get my queen to 20, so I'll be able to jump back in the wars. But I've been trying out the, the queen walking raiding strategy. I'm not sure if I was telling you guys about that last time. And as you can see, like, right here, I have four healers. And I absolutely love four healers because four healers on a queen makes her essentially indestructible. Sometimes not so much when the healers decide that they'd rather help out the giants. But, you know, that, uh... That 25% of the time that they do that, I'm okay with that, because that means that there's three other raids that I really do incredibly well on. So, I just want to show you this, it's actually, maybe, maybe not always, 25% of the time, as you can see from these four raids, but i got to show you this one raid that I stumbled across on earlier today. I think I shared it with all the, the base defilers earlier today, but, so, looking at it, like a Town Hall 10, but, no Inferno Towers, and these Expos look like they're dead, so, of course, a perfect target. So, as usual, drop my Queen, she takes out the two building Inferno Towers sitting in the corner, and the healers go down on her, and there she goes, indestructible, but essentially. The little level 3 cannon can't touch her, and she goes and clears up a little bit, and drops some Wizards, and look over here. This guy, he's, he's one of those guys. He's one of those guys. Don't really like those guys. But, um, yeah, so my queen goes down. She starts moving around. The wizards, they, they help funnel her to the middle and drop a couple giants. The wall breakers, all the rest of the wizards. And uh, now I'm just going to watch them just uh, go straight for that loot because that's a lot of loot. And uh, if it's my loot, I'm a lot happier. Those balloons too, I'm not sure who was donating those today, but um, as you can see they helped out a lot, taking out those expos and letting my giants go off and help my queen I guess in the corner. But um, that jump spell, jump spell bounce, bounces my queen and my giants into the middle and my queen just really just, she just cleans up everything, gets all the storages, slowly but surely. Takes that one out. And then gets the final amount of gold, and then I just ended the raid, because no use going any further at that point, and wasting my queen. So, yeah, so let's see, who's this? Hey. Oh, Moogie. We're live, Moogie! Maybe I'll say hi back. But yeah. Let's just request troops real quick, and um, yeah, no, my army's training up right now, should be a little while till I'm able to attack again, so, um, I guess that's about it, um, so yeah, well, let me just real quick show you this war that we're currently competing in, it's not looking too good, we got a half an hour left, 34-32, turns out their number one guy has Max Heroes, and um, Max Heroes versus Evman and TM, they kind of just go straight through, which, I mean, you can't, it's not like it's unseen, because, I mean, max heroes are max heroes, but anyways, um, so yeah, so, I wish all of you the best, subscribe to my channel, like my video, and, uh, I'll see you guys all next time, have a great night.